Okay, welcome back to the receive side this time of the Midland 2001 from 1981. The radio is receiving as you can hear and that is currently 0.3 of a microvolt. Some radios are fitted with transformer 5 in that position and some aren't. In this case it isn't so we can't adjust what isn't there. Transformer 4 is there. I'm using a sinad meter and an oscilloscope. A little bit of uh, improvement there. And actually, we should have started at the other end. The first receive is transformer 5. And then we move to transformer 6. Transformer 7, which has waxing for some reason. And then the first, the last one is transformer 8. may have gained a little tiny bit there. Just do the detector with you. This time we're going to go for a 100 millivolt signal replicating S9. Turn the volume for a good trace on the oscilloscope and the detector coil is this one. I think it's L106. So we're now going to get maximum amplitude Somebody asked me why do we optimise new radios on the 2781 band? Why do I have so many customers wanting us to optimise multi-band radios? Well, you know the 80 channel ones with CPT and um, the 2781 frequencies. Why do they have me optimising them for the the UK channels and why not the CPT channels? Bear in mind with we're really only dealing with the trade and a few local farmers. Well, the farmers have found that 2781 is better range because there's less inherent noise. Because CPT channels are used the same all over, aren't they? And again, of course, in AM in America. And so there's less inherent background noise on the 2781 channels than there is. Um, if I put a radio on right now, uh, today, I would think on the aerial there's probably... S2 of background noise uh, on 2781 and probably about S5 of background noise on CPT and that gives 2781 a better range because at the end of the day it's supposed to be unique to the UK there's supposed to be no other radio traffic on there at all however we all know there is illegal SSB um, interference coming in from uh, other countries uh, mainly so that's what the reason is they are not interested whatsoever in having CPT channels, they want what works for them. They stick on one channel. I think the farmers around here are on channel 28, and they just want to talk five miles up the field. So that's what it's all about: optimization, new sets. Um, some of the older sets are now too big to go in modern farm machinery, and so they're having newer, smaller sets, and they're being optimized on the 2781 set of frequencies. Just in case any of you query on that. Obviously, a customer can say to me. I want this radio optimising on CPT only channels and they can also say to me I want it optimising on the full 80 and we do whatever they ask in that kind of respect. So staying with the S9 signal on the uh, signal generator I'm going to make sure that the S meter is reading somewhere around S9, it's reading S7 at the moment and the adjustment for that is the one which usually eludes me, do you know I think it could be 102. it is. So that's now giving us S9 for the S9 signal. So the next thing is the squelch. So we'll turn the signal generator off, set the radio squelch to threshold, switch the signal generator on, 
and that's coming at 0.3 of a microvolt. Advance the squelch control and radio to full. And now increase the attenuator on the test set. 1 microvolt, 3 microvolts, 10 microvolts, 30 microvolts, 100 microvolts, 300 microvolts, 1 volt, 3 volts, and it never comes in. So that needs adjusting. And the squelch preset on this radio is 101 and it's the one right in the middle of the set just there so we now adjust that so that the radio does come in which it will do somewhere I'm sure that's strange yes I just knocked the signal generator then so I'll just put it back on frequency um, now we've got the squelch now at full coming in at about plus 30 that's absolutely fine so that was with RV 101 for the squelch preset so minimum squelch is 0.3 of a microvolt and maximum is uh, well around about um, 3 volts which is about, S, uh, about plus 30 as it had come in the snag was it was never opening on the squelch when it was on false which is no good to anybody right now I'll just tell you what the sensitivity is doing well, roughly, I'm not going to tell you it to a dB cyanide thing, but that's 0.3 of a microvolt, 0 0.2, 0 0.15, 0 0.1, and that's the end of my attenuator. There's a little bit of something. You can, so it's it's doing about 0 0.15 of a microvolt to a usable sensitivity which is very good uh, not quite Amstrad 901 standard and cert but certainly better than a lot of the latest models so there you have it the Midland 2001 from 1981